Hello and welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Frank Poulin, and today we're going to talk about all the exciting upcoming events that Suffolk Tourism and the Suffolk Public Library System has to offer. So definitely stay tuned for those events so you can start planning right now. Welcome back. We're here now with Teresa Earle, Suffolk Tourism Manager, and we're going to talk about some great upcoming events that are happening with tourism, correct? We have lots of great things. We keep our schedule going so that there's lots of family events throughout the year. Okay. So, where do you want to start? Well, let's start, I guess, with the most immediate events that are coming okay. up. Okay. Well, I'm going to jump ahead to December. Okay. So that people can plan their schedules because we have lots of fun stuff going. Absolutely. The first weekend of December is the 5th and 6th. On the 5th, we have the 4th Annual Artisan Gift Fair. Okay. That's an outdoor craft fair, which, you know, it could be 80 degrees or it could be 40 degrees, so dress appropriately. It is Hampton Roads. Exactly. It is at the Visitor Center Pavilion, which is where we normally hold the farmer's market. Okay. And it's just handmade, homemade crafts, gifts, hmm. um, some really high quality artisan gifts. Okay. We have a variety of vendors. Like I said, it's our fourth year doing it, so yeah. we've, we've gotten a nice following. It's from 10 to 5. It's free and open to the public, so okay. people can just come as they wish. And yeah. we have live entertainment and refreshments. Oh, and hopefully nice. do some of their holiday shopping, you know. Yeah, maybe absolutely. Beat some of the, you know, holiday rush. And that same weekend, we have the candlelight tour that is the Suffolk Nansman Historical Society's okay. annual event. And what, what, what is that exactly? It's a chance for you to take tours of historic homes in the West End neighborhood. Oh. Every year it changes which neighborhood okay. it's in. But this year it's the West End neighborhood, which is also known as Lakeside. Okay. And so you will see a Victorian home and you might see a different style home, a, more of a craftsman. And it's a variety oh. of architectures and they're all decorated for the holidays. Okay. And at the Suffolk Art Gallery, they're gonna have a sugar plum kitchen so you can go buy sweets and things like that. It's all a fundraiser for the okay. Nansman, Suffolk Nansman Historical Society. Got it. Um, but they do it every year and it's a great opportunity to see some beautiful homes. I'm sure. And you know, homes that you may drive by and go, oh gosh, I wish I could see the inside yeah, exactly. of that. This is your chance, go do it. Yeah. Um, it's twenty dollars per person. And they are all kind of dressed up for Christmas, or absolutely right. decked from yeah. top to bottom. And so this is twenty dollars per person. And then if you buy your tickets today, I believe they're twenty five. Okay. And there's tickets that are sold at a variety of places, including the Suffolk Visitor Center. So okay. come see us. Um, that would be great. But that's the first weekend in December. Okay. The second weekend, which you know is also the same weekend as our holiday parade through downtown. Yeah, absolutely. That's at seven. But if you want to come downtown earlier. At the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts, tourism is actually hosting a moving day, which we do traditionally every day of the parade so that okay. we can get folks downtown and give you a reason to maybe come, stick around, shop, eat. Kind of have a whole day exactly. event with families, yeah. And we like to keep it free and open to the public. Okay. And so we're showing Cinderella, the live action 2015 version. Oh, okay. Not the like, you know, old classic Disney yeah, version. So absolutely. it's the live action version. It's at 2 p.m. It's There's no cost, but okay. if you'd like to bring a non-perishable food item, um, a canned good or something like that, we will donate it to the food bank. Oh, great. Um, it's not required, but mm -hmm. it will certainly um, take it. And then again, like I said, it's at 2. It's free and open to the public, okay. and we are encouraging our kiddos to wear costumes. Okay. Any princess will do. <laughs> it doesn't have to be Cinderella. Last year, we showed Frozen, okay. and we got, you know, certainly... Say, that, that's kind of the huge one yeah. where I know my oh. nieces really love dressing up Absolutely. as the Frozen characters. We had 400 people come for Frozen last year. Ooh, my goodness. And this year, we're, you know, we have Cinderella, and then Cinderella is actually going to be making a special appearance. Really? All right. After the movie, okay. to take pictures with all the kids. And Very that, fun. too, is free. So we say, you know, everyone has a camera now because it's on their phone. Yeah. But if you don't, bring your real camera as well. And you will take turns and take pictures with Cinderella. It might make a great holiday card. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if nothing else, it'll be a great Facebook photo. <laughs> and then we'll load all the photos as well onto our downtown Suffolk Facebook page. Okay, great. So there will be all kinds of information out there, and it'll be fun. It's just a great afternoon with the kids. It's, it sounds it, yeah. It's going to be fun. You know, I you haven't the seen free. the movie, so I'm I, very excited. I I have to say, I haven't seen it either. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is your chance. Yeah, it is. And you could wear a costume if you want. I might pass <laughs> on the costume. <laughs> well, Prince Charming. Oh, well. There you go, see? Last year, we when we showed Frozen, we actually did have a little boy come as um, Prince Hans, who is the bad guy okay. in Frozen. So we're like, hmm, mm. that's interesting. All right. But we have lots of Annas and Elsas. And Annas and Elsas are welcome to come to Cinderella as well. Okay, all right. Beauty, you know, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty and that sort of thing. Okay. But it's fun. Speaking of the Cultural Arts Center, you guys also have another great event uh, with Downton Abbey coming up, right? We're very excited about that. Yeah. December 17th, it's a Thursday. Okay. We are showing the first full episode of the new season of Downton Abbey, which is the last season. Oh, wow. And we are one of only three locations in the whole region that are getting to preview really? this episode. Oh, wow. 
And so at the Cultural Arts Center, we'll be showing the episode mm -hmm. at 7. Okay. The doors will open at 6.30. It's free, but you okay. have to have tickets. Okay. And you so you need to online. register in advance. Exactly. You need to get okay. And what you do, if you go to our website, the visit mm -hmm. we have a Doubt Navi banner. Okay. You click on that, and it'll take you to more information. You follow the link to order your tickets. And okay. what you'll get is an email printout that you can just bring with you that night. All right. So there's no actual physical ticket. Mm -hmm. Now, we will be providing people souvenir tickets. Uh -oh. Now, I, I'm sad to say that there's a tea, a VIP tea event that is mm. an hour before the event, okay. but it's already sold out. Is it really? So well, That's a show that's been, it's not even a show anymore, it's like a phenomenon. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. And it's an amazing show. It really is a British soap opera. Yeah. You know, it just seems more highbrow because it's not American. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, it has yeah. that... It's got a little something extra. Yeah, well, yeah. and the costumes are beautiful, okay. and, you know, the time period, I'm sure, sets it apart mm -hmm. from our traditional soap operas. Absolutely. Um, not that there's anything wrong with ours, um, but it's a different style, and, yeah. and it's on, you know, PBS, mm -hmm. so it has a, just a different look about it, but it's beautiful, and the characters are great, and it's going to be really sad to see it go after all these years. I'm sure. Um, but the real episode won't air to the general public till January. Okay. So you're getting it two weeks in advance. Yeah. And again, it's free. Mm -hmm. um, we're partnering with WHRO and okay. the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts to do oh, that. Great. And we're happy to do the VIP um, reception mm -hmm. the Cultural Arts Center is offering. But like I said, it's sold out within oh, wow. like five days. Wow. So we're really excited about that. That's, that's excellent. Um, and so it, it shows us that there's a need for that sort of thing. So we need to have more fun stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but it's going to be great. And I suggest if you want tickets, you need to get them now because we will sell out. Okay. For the general seating. Yeah, we'll absolutely. Sell out. Yeah. We're probably pretty close by now. So I got to get on that website That's today. Right, you better. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've already got my ticket. Do so you? I okay. do. Right. And you know, people are coming. They've been calling the center. They're coming from Richmond and, and Gloucester. Oh, and wow. so it's bringing in people from outside the area who want a chance to see it. And it just so happens that this particular ep um, season of Downton Abbey takes place in the 1920s. And the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts was built in the 1920s. Oh, so that's it's a nice tie-in. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, you know, period um, collaboration, so to speak. Whereas the other ones are, I believe, at the Narrow and the Paragon Movie okay. Theater in Newport yeah. News. Yeah. Um, and certainly they're lovely places, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. But it'll be kind of nice to... To be in a period uh, place to watch it, a period it's show. A, it's not a castle. No, it's not. But it could be our castle. We'll it's a beautiful place. Oh, it's yeah, beautiful phenomenal. Building, so, Absolutely. Yeah. So it'll be a great evening. Okay. Get your tickets now, December 17th. It's a Thursday. Starts at 7. you got to be there by 6.30 or right. be there between 6.30 yeah. and 7. But it'll be fabulous. I All promise. right, great. And then throughout the month on the weekends, we'll be having Santa visits at the Visitor Center. Really? Okay. And if you go to our website, you can see the exact dates and times. Okay. It's visitsuffolkva.com. Okay. And those two are free. You just bring your camera. We provide Santa. You oh, wow. bring your kiddos, your, your pets. We have the last one of the month is always the last Sunday before. So there's a specific day to bring your pets, yes. it's not, okay. You can bring right. your kids too, but <laughs> uh, but your fur kids are welcome that day. Absolutely. And they, we get a pretty good turnout for that. People okay. love to bring their dogs, cats. I think we had maybe a snake and. Ooh, um, snake. Yeah, we had a snake. Santa holds snakes? Santa, Santa loves all creatures, that's big true. and small. That's true, I guess that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but then what we do for that is we ask people to bring a donation for the animal shelter. Okay. So whether it's, you know, dog food, cat food, mm. sometimes, you know, pet beds or blankets or collars or anything that you'd want to do donate to the animal shelter or humane society. Okay. Um, and again, it's not required. We just ask, you know, if it's possible. Most people who take their dogs and cats to take pictures with Santa, they care about all, all the dogs yeah, and cats. Yeah. So they're very generous. Well, very nice. That we're fortunate. And then, of course, you know, we have our tours continue throughout mm -hmm. the year. We do Great Dismal Swamp Safaris, and now is a great time to do it because the bugs are gone. Oh, yes. Um, yes. Not that there's any bad time to see the swamp. No, no. But at least the, the wasps and the hornets and stuff like that well, aren't as just, prevalent. It's just mosquitoes. You really oh, have mosquito, to be okay. All right. Mosquitoes. We can deal with wasps. Mosquitoes. I can't deal with wasps. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, the mosquitoes, you'd rather have wasps. Okay. But <laughs> right now, it's a great time. And yep. the leaves really haven't fallen completely off the trees, and mm -hmm. so it's a nice time to take a Dismal Swamp tour. Okay. Um, we do those regularly. They're $10 per person, okay. $8 for seniors and military. Is that on the water, or is that like a, what, what kind it's of tour a, is it's that? It's a driving slash walking tour. Okay. So right. you're going to do a, a lot of it on a bus, mm -hmm. and then some of it, when you get out to Lake Drummond, there'll be some walking. Okay. And we have a great biologist who leads the tour. She's fabulous. And mm -hmm. she, she talks about the wildlife and the vegetation, but she also talks about the history. Oh, cool. And she knows everything there is to know about the Great Dismal Swamp, and she's fascinating. There's a lot of history there, a lot oh, of stuff. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 
and she will address that. And we offer guided nature walks. If someone would just wants to do an actual guided walk, not mm -hmm. the bus tour, we offer those as well. Oh, great. And she also leads those tours. Okay. And if we do regular historic Suffolk bus tours now, where we do a regular bus tour mm -hmm. through downtown. Okay. Um, they're typically on Mondays at 2. All right. Sometimes we offer them on Saturdays as well. Okay. Um, and we just, it's an hour long tour where mm -hmm. we take you through the historic neighborhoods and streets of downtown. Well. And explain all the different buildings and that sort of thing. So it's it's fun. It's not ghost walk, okay. but you're still getting history. So. Uh, I heard the ghost walk is really fun. That's just the wrapping up though, right? Yeah. Yes. Now we will. We do ghost walks year round. It's called Legends of Main Street, okay. a Suffolk ghost walk. It's not a Halloween tour. Okay. It is a year round, 90 minute ghost walk. Um, it's just when it gets a little bit colder, it's harder for people yeah, to be out, and absolutely. it's harder for the tour guides to speak very loudly so you can hear them. But we have done them in February oh, wow. for private groups. Yeah. We, we offer them to conference groups coming in. And so if you and say eight of your closest friends yeah. want, want a ghost walk, we'll do it for you. Okay. Um, now, if it's just you, uh, oh, you might have to I wait. I can till, walk on my own. You <laughs> might have to wait till the regular <laughs> scheduled tour season. Yeah. But we try to keep things going throughout the year as much as possible. Okay. So it Sounds like you got a lot of great stuff oh planned. Oh my gosh, we have so much going on. It really is. There's, you know, we say it's a good time to be in Suffolk. Yeah. It really is a good time it to really be in Suffolk. It really is a good I time. I promise. Yeah. Um, and our website, we try to keep our calendar for the entire city. It's not just okay. what events we plan. Mm -hmm. It's events for the whole um, city, really. And so visit SuffolkVA.com. Okay. You can click on calendar, and it'll take you down to all the events we have by month. And we'll be putting our 2016, I cannot believe I I'm can't saying believe that. that. Either. No. Um, we'll be putting those on soon as well. We might already have a few. Okay. The Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts has a season that starts in October and goes through May. Okay. So they have constant performances and events as well. So, um, you know, even if you want to check out something that's more inside and warm and you don't want to be yeah. outside, <laughs> you know, by all means, you can yeah. get that information on our site as Suffolk well. Suffolk certainly has it. Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, excellent. We're very happy with what we have. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, well, thank you for having me. And thank you at home for joining us. Stay tuned. We're going to chat next with uh, folks at the Suffolk Public Library and see what they have upcoming for November and December. Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about the Suffolk Public Library system and all the things that they're going to have to offer within the next couple of months. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Now, let's talk a little bit. Now, we kind of, you know, briefly mentioned that we're going to talk about a lot of the exciting events. And you guys have planned a ton of stuff kind of through November and December, correct? Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the things that are going on. Well, um, I'm the Youth and Family Services Associate. Okay. So the stuff that I do is more um, geared towards uh, children and mm -hmm. teens. So one of the programs that we have um, at each of our locations every month is Creation Exploration. Okay. That's where we use uh, STEAM-based um, activities. That's science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Got it. Okay. We do that, and we do we create crafts and uh, just go over things like that with the kids to help them um, do better in school and just help them learn more um, okay. through that process. Well, what kind of crafts are they creating during this time? Uh, well, the one I did most recently, mm -hmm. we um, we created uh, like little tiny banjos out of oh, cool. uh, paint steers and rubber bands and little paper bowls. Okay. So we did that and. Um, we created a little flute and a thumb piano. Okay, also. now do people have to like register in advance? Is there a cost? Yes, or? for okay. creation exploration, you do, you do have to register. There's no cost. They're all okay. they're all free, and they're at all three of our locations. Are they? That's great. All right. So besides creation exploration, what's what's what else is there? Well, we have some great adult programming going on okay. um, in November and December. Um, we're getting gearing up for the holidays, so mm -hmm. we've got some adult crafting okay. where you can create a, um, a gift, a hands-on gift mm -hmm. um, um, for the holidays. Okay. So you can have materials and stuff there for them? Oh, Do yeah, they bring of them course. Or, okay, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Everything is provided. You just bring your hands. Okay and your creativity. That's right. <laughs> um, we also uh, are doing some coloring and cocktails events mm. for adults. Okay. Um, coloring has become, coloring for adults has become a big trend. Really? Um, yeah. It's oh. great for relaxation. Okay. Um, it's a great activity to just sort of release um, your creativity. Okay. Um, and people find it really, really engaging. Oh. Yeah, would, so have, would have never thought of that these days, but yeah, okay. yeah, especially for adults. Okay. Um, the cocktails, however, will be mocktails. Mocktails, all right. All right. 
but they'll be delicious. I'm, I'm sure, certainly sure they will be. <laughs> yeah, and everyone always thinks that, you know, the library kind of has, especially special activities, more kids related and not really stuff for the adults. So that, that's really cool that the, we're moving in that direction. Yes, we're definitely looking for um, ideas from the community as okay. well. So if a patron comes in and shares something that they're interested in, we might create a program to do it. Really? To, okay. Uh, go with that. So open to kind of all ideas. Subject. Yeah, oh, yeah, we nice. really are. Nice. So, so, so what, what else is going on? Well, we also have a Lego club okay. that happens um, every second Wednesday mm -hmm. of every month. It's from four to six. Is that for adults as well? or? Uh, well, adults can bring their kids, okay, okay. and uh, um, they can all build things just gave together. Us an idea, I love Legos. I mean, I used to play <laughs> Legos all the time. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So it's basically just you just there's no registration required. Okay. You just show up, um, and the kids can just make Legos, mm -hmm. uh, make anything they want uh, for any amount of time. You just come and go as you please, okay. and then um, we'll uh, at the North Suffolk location, especially we'll, we'll set all their their creations out so everyone can see them for oh, that cool. two weeks yeah. until the next time when we have to. Of course, disassemble and get everything ready for the <laughs> next one. Okay, so, so they run every two weeks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a lot, lot of people kind of engage in that, or? Yeah, um, we've. I've had a lot of people come. Okay. Um, it's it's been packed at, at most of the ones that I've. All done, age so. ranges, or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all all age ranges are showing up and having a good time. Legos are, you know, like you said, they're fun for everybody. Very, yeah, you know, especially now they have those high tech come in, ones too. I sit down and play with stuff. Yeah, very it's nice. a lot of fun. So very it's nice. great. We're doing an adult Lego club now. Oh, that's amazing. We're definitely going to do <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that <laughs> well, I will great. definitely be there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so kind of, what, what other things are these pro programs? These, like, they, they just sound so great that you got all this stuff going on. And, and again, a lot of times people just think of the library as a building with books in it, and that's all that kind of goes on. And obviously, there's great ideas, and there's a lot of fun in there. But these activities are what really kind of drive people back to the library and kind of the actual books. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're not just, uh, you mentioned that the library is thought of as books in a building, yeah. but we really move outside into the community yeah, a lot. Okay. Um, and uh, for instance, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we took Storytime on the Road to mm -hmm. um, a children's festival. Really? And uh, we brought some of our activities out there as well, and our pop-up library. Where oh, excellent. To, to talk kind of about that experience and just, you know, kind of walk, walk the viewers at home oh, through sure. kind of that. Um, so, th well, can I tell you about the pop-up library? You sure can. All right. So the pop-up library is really um, a library experience wherever people in the community are. Huh. So we will bring um, the ability to sign up for library cards. Okay. Um, we can, if you have a library card and it's, you know, it's been a long time, you need to renew it, we'll renew yeah. it for you. Okay. We'll get you a new card. Um, we can do a lot of those services that you can get inside the building um, on the go. Oh, that's very cool. Um, and then uh, at the Children's Festival and, and many of our pop-up libraries, we will actually bring library books. Okay. So you can check out materials. You can actually check them out there at the pop-up library. Oh, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, and then we also bring in information about our programs and events okay. so that people can stay engaged within the library as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and just for fun, we'll bring some toys as well. Oh, very fun. So we brought Jenga and large Jenga. Large Jenga. Big okay. Jenga. Okay. And we can bring tic-tac-toe and all sorts of big games for the kids to play with and, of course, story time. Yeah, and we did a special story time, a bear-themed story time. Okay. We um, did two of them that day, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of kids show up um, with their parents, and they participated, we sang songs, read stories, it was great, it was a lot of fun. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And that's just one thing that we, one event that we've been to, but we have okay. many events that we'll, we'll be part of in the future, especially okay. in the month of November. Okay, and you mentioned kind of outreach, you, you know, in, in, uh, I understand you're kind of new with the library? I am. I have Describe your kind of role with the... Um, I am the Outreach and Program Services Manager, okay. so I um, really spend a lot of time in the community um, looking for partners, um, looking for opportunities to serve the community in different, um, maybe more creative ways. Okay. Next week we're going to be a part of the Re um, Retail Alliance um, event. Okay. They're doing the Restored Pop-Up Shop event. Okay. Um, well, we're a pop-up, yeah. so we're going to bring our pop-up library to this event, mm -hmm. and um, and we're also going to bring our book sale, our friends of the library book sale, so we'll okay. be able to sell something as oh, well. Oh, very fun, yeah. Um, so we'll be a part of that event, and we're really excited to even, you know, be out in the community in that way. And then um, on the same weekend, we're gonna be part of the Lipton anniversary event as oh, well. Oh, great, okay. So we're gonna bring our pop-up library there. Yeah, so the, the goal is, you know, 
literally to get out into the community yeah. and just bring people into the library. Sure. Well, and even if we don't bring people into the library, mm -hmm. we're still giving them services on site. And really, yeah. we can do so much outside of our walls as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, now, how easy is it to, you know, kind of sign up for a library? I, I remember I did it when I, a long time ago, both the Newport News here mm -hmm. and the, the Chesapeake Library System. How easy is it in Suffolk to just sign up for it? Really easy. Is it? The application is about this size. Oh, that's not, that's not <laughs> We're not asking for too much. Okay, okay. <laughs> your name, your address, mm -hmm. your email. Okay. That's about it. That's and about it. as long as you're a Virginia or North Carolina resident, then you can, you can okay. get a, a library card. For free. Oh, that, that's awesome. And then how do you come up with like a slate of events to, to determine, you know, what type of events to, you know, bring out to the community or bring into the community? You know, do you, do you guys all sit down and discuss or, you know, you mentioned, you know, ideas from outside coming in. How, how does that kind of happen? Well, we try to stay up with uh, trends and programming okay. in, in the libraries and mm -hmm. also just in the larger population as well. Okay. Um, and then we come together with... Um, with all of our different ideas of things that we've seen, um, things that we've heard, things that interest us. Okay. Um, the great thing about the library is people that work at the library have so many different backgrounds. Really? Um, you you will, won't really find a library staff member who's just worked in the library. Okay. Um, so I'm sure you've worked elsewhere. I have, yes. <laughs> I'm um, Actually, my background's in public health. Really? Uh, yeah, I got my master's in public health. I've worked at, uh, for Mayo Clinic and the Epilepsy Foundation. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, I, the library I just kind of came upon and thought it sounded like a lot of fun, and it has been. I'm really glad I found it. That is awesome. So he can bring some of his expertise yeah. into the programming. I can bring some of what my background has been in uh, early childhood. Um, so we all come together, and we... we bring our talents together and mm -hmm. we um, do what interests us and what we think will be interesting to the community. Yeah, absolutely. So so what, so what? moving, I guess, we you know, we talked about kind of story time and some other ideas. Are there, is there any special kind of holiday geared theme programming or anything like that? Or I mean, do you tailor different programs to the holidays or how does that kind of work? Oh, well, we just had a really cool Halloween party. Yes, we did. Did you? And um, I know at the North Suffolk location, I know we had like 172 oh my goodness. kids show up. Um, yeah, oh, it was our, our librarian, I believe so, okay. yeah, and they trick-or-treated, and our librarian there, that was her, the biggest story time she's ever done. <laughs> uh, so that was, and I know at Morgan we had, there were a lot of, a lot of people showed up too. So oh, wow. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We actually have a, a Hunger Games party coming up too for the release of the, uh, the new movie. So okay. that'll be Will that be a, a theme weeks. party, or how, how does... Yes, it is. It's okay. it's for it's geared towards teens, okay. and uh, there's going to be um, games mm -hmm. and just I, th I think some crafts stuff like that. Okay. Uh, they're, they're how they're going to pick the teams. They're going to do the reaping, so oh, that's okay. that's how they'll they'll pick the teams for everything, and, right. then, and they'll they'll do uh, various different games. Um, that's going to be run by our our newest teen librarian, who's great. Too, okay. So that'll be. A Will lot you be showing the movie as well, or? No, it's no, just, just, it's just, theme. just, just the theme part. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and, how, and you mentioned kind of the you know the adult craft, uh, the, the, the holiday gift making type of deal. Yep, we'll have three sessions of that in okay. November. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome. And anything else, any other programming? Well, we could stay here all day with you and talk about <laughs> programming, but I'm sure we don't have all that. Oh, well, all right then. Well, uh, <laughs> well, 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 certainly I know you guys have a great new website too that, that's just been kind of been developed, kind of overhauled, and I know all the information kind of for these programs and everything else is on that site. Yes. Yeah, it, our programming calendar is on there, and also you can find us uh, where we're going to be in the community as well, an outreach calendar. Oh, there's an outreach calendar as well, okay. Why do you guys love the library? Oh, I love the library because it's for everyone, and I get to meet so many different interesting people there every day. Yeah, I'm sure. Fantastic place to come to work every day. Well, great. I love it because it's a place for the community to congregate. Um, it's it's like a community center now. Yeah, and there's yeah, so you're right. Different um, activities and events for people that it's just a great place for people to come to do all kinds of things, not just look at and check out books. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you both for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. For thank you. Us. And thank you for watching here at home. And definitely make sure you go onto the library's website, check out all the great activities that are happening, um, both in the library and outside the library. And definitely, if you don't have your library card, go out and get it. Thanks for joining us.